Now in A part D, we already know that P equals PO e to the sine lambda t from this improved model. And we're now given that lambda is 2.5. So substituting that into this equation gives us P equals PO e to the sine 2.5 t. Now we've got to find t when P equals 2PO. So we'll put that down here that when P equals 2PO, if I substitute that into the above, we have 2PO equals PO e to the sine of 2.5t. And I can divide both sides by PO and that results in 2 equaling e to the sine 2.5t. Now in order to gain this value of t, because it's a power, I need to take natural logs to both sides. That's logs to base e, so we have the natural log of 2 equals the natural log of this, which results in the sine of 2.5t. So to get to 2.5t, I've now got to remove the sine, so that means I need to find the inverse sine of both sides. So we have the inverse sine of the natural log of 2 equals 2.5t. Dividing through by 2.5 to both sides results in t on this side, which I'll just write over here, equals 1 over 2.5 multiplied by the inverse sine of the natural log of 2. When you do this, make sure you're in radians mode, okay? And if you work it out on your calculator, what you should find you get is t equals 0 0.306338477 and so on. And remember that this is the time in days. But we want to give the answer to the nearest minute. So I need to turn these days into minutes. So I take that answer and I've got to multiply it by 24 to turn it into hours and times by 60 to turn it into minutes. So this will be in minutes and if I work that out what you find you get is 441.127 and so on minutes. I'll write that as mins for short. And we're asked to give it to the nearest minute, so that's going to be 441 minutes to the nearest minute. Alright, and that brings us now to the end of the question.